What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 21 Road to Glory. Today guys, for the first time this year, I'm going to be having a go at a foot draft. Um, I've had two draft tokens sat in my club for a couple of weeks now to be honest and I've just never really had an opportunity to go and play them. Like Anytime I thought I wanted to like play some games, I've always had either like objectives or foot champs or squad battles rewards to aim for or rivals rewards, things like that. But I've got a bit of free time. Um, which is the beauty of this whole new system with the uh, <laughs> with the rivals, how you earn points on that. So we're going to go and play a draft. I'm not going to set any kind of like restrictions on the team I'm going to put together. We're just going to just try and build whatever team we want, just to uh, you know try it out really um, and, and give it a go. I can't imagine it's changed too much from previous years to be honest. Um, but it'd be interesting to see if we get any cards that I haven't used yet this year, like any decent icons or anything like that, I don't know if they're in draft, I presume that they are, but I couldn't say for definite. Um, interesting formations, all formations that I haven't actually used yet this year, so that could be could be uh, potentially problematic, um, I think, because two up front tends to be better, but then we, we need a bit of width, I might go for the 4-3-3, I think that's going to be the safest bet, we go for the 4-3-3. Um, there we go, right. Captain choices. Ooh, not a bad start. I guess we take Neymar. Ooh, hello. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take Neymar. I, I'd imagine he's pretty sick on this game. I haven't used him yet. Very expensive card. Um, can we get maybe Mbappe to go with him? Ooh, so <laughs> you can tell the uh, the UCL cards are in packs, guys. The, the proper trying to push them on us there. Um, but I guess we just take... Well, to be fair, we could take Firmino, actually. Does does link to uh, Neymar. I, I mean, Lewandowski's probably the better choice. But we'll, we'll take Firmino. Why not? We'll take a cheeky Bobby. Uh, right wing. Oh, there we go. Salah. We'll take that. Mo Salah. Perfect. Okay, good start. Right. Uh, central midfield. Ooh, that is rough. Okay. Um... We'll take Stevens because he's got the Premier League link if I need to put him on the other side. Centre, centre mid. Uh, ooh. Vidal's obviously into now. Kovacic. Saul. Can we pre yeah, so we can prove it? Yes, we prove it. I haven't got any French league, have I? So I guess we'll go with Kovacic. Seems like the logical choice. And then the final centre mid. Ooh, that Thomas Partey card is very nice. We'll take that. We'll take that indeed. Right, give me like a Carl Walker or something. Yeah, we'll take Carl Walker at right back. No Premier League. Uh, so we get this guy who's from the French League, but obviously it's going to be pretty difficult to link him to, to Neymar or to any players on that sort of side of the pitch, but it might be the best way to go. What what nationalities have I got? It? English, Croatian, Ghanaian. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll just take this guy then. It's going to be difficult to link, realistically, but he's, he's the highest rated. Um, actually, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to take Kappa. I'm going to take Kappa just because if I get, like, Ramos or someone like that in defence, it might be a bit easier. And it's only it's only one rating down. So, And realistically, we're not going to get, like, the highest rated draft, like, straight away. So, ooh, hello, Matip. But Diego Carlos. See, wh why have they started doing this? Like, literally, every, every time it's, like, just a UCL card, it's, like... They're just pushing the UCLs instead of the standard golds. Like, we don't realise that they're actually the same. Um, yeah, bit bit weird for me, eh, to be honest. Um, it's like they're trying to say, oh, yeah, look, we're giving you a special card. You, you're not. Like, you're just not. Um, but I guess we'll take Diego Carlos. Gets a link to Kappa. And he's easily the best centre-back there. So, yeah, we'll take him. Why not? And then to partner him. Wow, Lindelof again. Oh. See, what, what is going on here, man? Like, just all these blue cards. Um, they're all Premier League except for Jose Font, who could potentially get us some, you know, some linkage going on there on the left if I could get some French League players. But he is by far the worst one there. So I think what we're going to do is probably take... Probably take Fernandinho. I think... <laughs> Thiago Silva, I would say, is a little bit too slow, in my opinion. Um, I know Fernandinho is not, not exactly quick himself, but I think Fernandinho is going to be the better option. Obviously, he has to go Brazilian there with the link to uh, Diego Carlos. And then left back, Bernat. Oh. Ooh. 
Furlan Mendy. <sighs> but I think Burnout might have to be the one. So if I can get a PSG centre mid, then we're we're laughing. Telefever's not a link. Grimaldo's not a link. Furlan Mendy would be phenomenal, but I can't get him in. Bichiche, perfect link to Kappa, but we can't get that to work. So I'm going to take Bernat just for the chemistry purposes. And then can we get maybe like Allison or Edison in goal? Edison, Allison, we'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll give Allison in goal. Right. Now, bench. We need some better midfielders for sure. Um, okay. Uh, we'll just go Ray Galaxy. Don't really need a goalkeeper there. We're pretty much sorted on that front. Um, Laporte. Laporte gets a green link to Fernandinho. Which might not be actually that bad, but it means Diego Carlos coming out of the team. wan Bissaka is a good shout. Because I could swap Stevens to the right and get a green link there. Jesus Navas is just basically the same. And Jordi Alba we don't really need. I might go with wan Bissaka actually. I think that's going to be the best option. Because then I can swap these two and get the green link there then we just need to basically try and sort out this side on the left essentially um, that's poor target don't really want him Reese James isn't going to help me um, I guess we just take target just in case he helps at some point maybe like just throw him in and then sub him off right at the lat or so um, at the start of the game uh, Lingard is not really going to help. Maybe. Um, Danny Garcia doesn't help me. Draxler. Draxler's actually fantastic. We'll take Draxler, put him in there. That That's perfect. I didn't even realise that. That's actually sick. Um, yeah, just need to pretty much get like Kovacic. Um, and maybe if we do that. Yeah, Kovacic and Diego Carlos are the uh, problem areas now. Uh, Stevie Bergwijn, that's an interesting one. Maybe a good super sub there. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to do that because none of these are going to get in, are they? We'll take, take Bergwijn to bring off the bench. Ooh, that's some options there. That is, Munyain's not going to work for us. Di Maria won't work. Bale and his Real Madrid card. That's pointless. Uh, Griezmann I didn't realise Griezmann was a striker I thought he was like centre forward or something uh, Insigne maybe Griezmann maybe I um, no I think I think Di Maria off the bench I think Di Maria is the better option there take Angel Di Maria uh, what else have we got Harry Wilson Champions League card at Liverpool that definitely needs to change uh, Payet is not going to be any good for us Kaderbeck no Vinicius Delicious Vinicius. Whoa. Danilo. Um, I'll take... I'll take Vinicius Jr. As a potential super sub, but he's probably not going to get on. Uh, we've got Sirigu, who's not going to help us. Arias, who will not help us. Morata will not help us. Um, we are going to go with the rating there. We're going to take Sirigu. Oh, Jovino. Uh, oh, this is a pretty dead selection, this, isn't it? Um, that really doesn't help us. We will, we will go with... Um, ah, it doesn't matter. We'll just take Danny Elmer. It's not going to do anything for us. Oof. Some of these some of these selections have been very, very poor. I, I guess it's just what the draft's like, because there's not many special cards in packs, but some of them are very poor. Um... I wonder if, like, Lamella might be a shout just to, like, throw him as a centre mid, maybe? I don't know. Probably not going to really help me, but highest rated, so we'll take him. I really need, like, a big Premier League centre mid. Like, Almiron's probably an upgrade, but, yeah, actually, I can put him in instead of Stevens. not going to affect the uh, chemistry any much. Uh, Adama Troyer is not going to get in. Pau Torres. Nah, we'll, we'll take Almer on. I'll put Almer on in there. It's a slight upgrade, I suppose. And then final player, guys, for the draft. Ooh, that actually could be very good. I think we might take Gabriel Jesus. Um, 
James Rodriguez is an interesting card, but I don't need it. But I think Jesus is going to be better than Firmino in game. So I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to take Gabriel Jesus. Um, and we're going to put him in up front there. We'll do a little, little uh, rejig of the old bench. Let me just see what rating we hit. Um, let me know in the comment section, guys, what your highest rated draft is that you've done this year. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably smashed out a lot more draft than why I have. This is literally my first one. I never really play like a lot of draft, to be honest, mainly because I, I don't really win that often. Um, like, I, I can win, but I, to be honest, last year my, my draft record was probably the, the best draft record I've actually had on any FIFA, but um, I don't feel like I win enough to kind of justify the coins that I put in. But we, you know, I guess we're just going to rock with that. <laughs> um, seems pretty... Pretty poor, um, but I guess we got some decent players that we can bring on. Um, I'll sort out some custom tactics and stuff, but yeah, well, we'll go ahead and just jump into the first match. All right, then, guys, so first opponent of the foot draft has a Premier League team. One to watch Werner. I didn't realise you get one to watch cards in foot draft. I don't know. Has that always been a thing? I'm not sure. Um, Informed Maximin's a bit... That is, that is a bit decent. Um... Pogba there as well, decent players, but it's not like it's a super team, not like a god squad. Interesting actually, I just realised that I didn't have any icons, that guy didn't have any icons, I wonder if they're actually even available in draft yet, interested, let me know if you guys know anything about that in the comments. Come on Jesus, test out the finishing, oh he's got the finishing, 1-0, love that. Nice, see the player at the back post. Might get it. Oh, chance, oh, what a save. Oh, a little bit of luck. Neymar, oh, oh my God, really? Oh, no way. Gotta win that, Fernandinho, oh, off the line. Oh, go on. Oh, no way. Are you for real? Come on, let's go. Oh, my God, man. Yes, love that. Cool. Toying with him with that finish. See, toying with him. Salah. Oh, really? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. I'd already press um, pass, sorry, just to like lay it back, and then he literally ended up doing like a fake shot because of me spamming uh, shoot before. So by the fake shot on it around the keeper, could just kicked it in, but obviously, because I was spamming pass as well, that followed through, and I thought I completely wasted the chance, but. We have got a pretty healthy lead now. Um, opportunity to extend it, maybe. Ah, probably wrong option there for me. Probably wrong option, I'd say. But um, yeah, we're not doing too badly. It's a good pull, that. Jesus to kill it off. Oh, good save. Oh, we've won that as well, surely. Yes, 4 0. Gabriel Jesus. Really impressed with this card, actually, Gabriel Jesus. Even like his link-up play is, is pretty good. I don't know if it's the formation and it sort of like assists the striker in that way, but he, he's been very, very good. Finishing's been top-notch. Um, I'd heard really good things about him in general, but using him in this foot draft, he, he has done very well, I've got to say. Um, I'd be interested if this guy might quit, possibly. If not, we'll, we'll ready up some changes anyway, try out a few different cards, because this game... This game's done, realistically. Um, so, tell you, we'll bring on Firmino. We'll give him a tryout because I haven't used him yet. Uh, we'll use uh, Di Maria, but I'll actually use him in centre mid because I've heard good things about Di Maria. And let's just use Stevie Bergwijn. Um, Neymar's impressed me enough. We'll, we'll try out something different now. Go Bergwijn. Um, yeah, and just play the remainder of this match. Around the corner, nice by Firmino, nice flick. 
Oh my god. You just cracked him on the forehead, that shot. Wow. Oh, it goes Di Maria. On the break. Near post. Oh, unlucky. All right, there it is. First game, first win. Good start. At least we didn't lose in the first round because that would have been a disaster. Um, it's good. Good performance as well. We play really well. We never look like losing. Um, gives me confidence for the next games. Hopefully, we can't get some similar sort of squads because I don't know. Like I said, <laughs> look at those stats. I mean, wow. Um, but yeah, I just hope we don't come up against like a few absolute god squads, which means that we're just going to get like utterly spanked straight away. I hope that's not like a one-off game. I hope that those are the sort of teams you come up against well the majority of the time in draft but we will see all right guys so next opponent oh that is a very good front two wow um well actually a very good team it's not great chemistry um and the the center mids and the cam are just weird but it's not actually a bad team with some decent players there i hope the chemistry does hinder him because it should but you know this is fifa We're in. Draxler. Great finish. Phenomenal start. Nice. Someone needs to come out of the back post on this one. Oh, he's not. Oh, well, we might still get it. One more. Oh, oh nice. Salah. 2 0. But difficult, actually, because. It's an interesting formation he's playing because it's very difficult to get down the wings, um, which is obviously one of the. I don't think, I don't know if I can say that it's the meta yet because I, I don't really feel like I've played the game enough, but it's definitely like a good way to score is to get down the wings and put crosses in. But when they've got five defenders who are all sitting pretty deep, it is difficult to get down the wing. So you have to play through the middle quite a lot, um, and I don't necessarily think that playing through the middle is the best thing to do on this game so it's, it's made for an interesting uh, matchup so far go 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 come on he's out of position couple of ball rolls just to confuse him pull it back oh good pass Draxler oh why have I passed it it might work it did work get in 3-0 Can we get that? Yes, Draxler. Oh, nutmegs. Jesus. Oh, probably could take an extra touch. Probably should have taken an extra touch, to be honest. But we might score from the corner. Come on, Salah delivers. Oh. Still alive, Fernandinho. Oh. Or oh, Neymar. Oh, really? That wasn't great. There's the runner. It's Almiron. And I think he is literally on. Oh! <laughs> Off the post. That's the ball. Penref. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Neymar's going to step up. Neymar to kill the game. Get in. Let's go. 4 0. Almiron, oh really? Man, come on, gotta be scoring that. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What? Is he giving a foul? You're not allowed to take it around the goalkeeper anymore. Is that illegal? Oh my god. Well, we win. 
We were in 4 0. I mean, the refs done everything in his power to not make us win. I don't get that. I don't understand what I just did there. All I literally did was just run through on goal, take the ball around the keeper, and put it in, and he's called for a foul. But whatever, we won 4 0, so we'll take it. Um, on to the semi final. Um, another very, very dominant performance. Um, I'm not sure the, the formation really favoured that guy, though, to be honest. The 5 2 1 2. Um, I mean, he obviously picked it, but I'm, I would have thought he probably had some better formations than that in his selection. M maybe not. Sometimes you get shafted. That, this is the thing. So it's like the downside to draft is your formation pick can literally ruin your draft before it's even begun. But anyway, hopefully we don't come up against too many like 4 4 2 teams because that's obviously tends to be one of like the better formations. Might. We might get found out with that, but let's go ahead and play the semi-final. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, wow, icons are in draft. Okay, wow. Semi-final time, Robert Perez. That's that Macedonian guy called Bardi that his way loves. Um, one to watch Odegaard, Griezmann. It's a decent team. I think if Perez wasn't there, I wouldn't be like overly concerned. Um, and he's not one of the better icons, but it's still an icon, so... Hopefully, it doesn't destroy us. Nice. Come on. A little burst of acceleration. Jesus, 1 0. Come on. Good start again. We've started every game really fast. Doubt this is a rage quit. Probably going to be making some subs, but we will see. Hopefully, it's a rage quit. So I haven't had one yet. I would love one, but a 1 0, I think it's unlikely. Nah, he's just making subs. Our oh, name, oh, he should score, really. We should at least hit the target. Nice, Neymar. Oh, what? Is that not a pen? What? He just didn't shoot for some reason. And then, even so, I thought he got absolutely chopped down. Ah. Oh. Half time ref. Ref, it was supposed to be half time. What are you doing? <sighs> so incompetent. Oh, yes, get in. Look at that for an assist as well. Was that Jesus? With that little kind of like, I don't even know what that is. It's like a scorpion pass. Whoa, take that. Because it's been like, it's a weird game. Like I've had a lot of the ball, but I've struggled to make like a lot of clear-cut chances. So it's meant that this guy has kind of always been in the game. And obviously because of that 45th minute goal, it's made it really, really tense as well. Um, but we could maybe get ourselves a cushion. No, not there. But yeah, at least we're back in front. Um, and hopefully we can hold on to the lead this time. Go on, Drax, they get there first. Finish it. Oh, unlucky. That's it, ref. Don't do it to me again. Let's go. Come on, we're in the final, boys. Come on. We're in the final. Difficult game, that. Classic semi-final. Tight, tense, nervous. Difficult game. Um, Always on top, never looked like losing though. This that, that is the important thing. Um, let's have a look at the stats. So, yeah, in the end, he literally had one shot on target, which was that 45th plus minute goal. Um, we absolutely dominated the game, but we weren't as clinical as we like. Maybe we we're just saving the, the clinical edge for the final, hopefully, because we're gonna need it. Um, so, yeah, let's bring it on. All right, guys, here we go. The draft final. Oh my god, we're screwed. Divock Origi, we're screwed. The big man for the big occasion. Chances are this guy's probably going to sub him off. But 
in my opinion, I'd recommend that you play him. Uh, but that is a really, really good team. Really solid team. I think it was pretty much full prem, wouldn't it? He had like uh, Pablo Mari at centre-back, but obviously sub him off. Very, very good team. I'm pretty concerned, actually, because that's 4-3-2-1. Pretty similar matchup to the 4-3-3. This could be a pretty difficult game. Neymar! Come on! Big finish. Every single game we've scored within the first 10 minutes and set ourselves off to a flying start. That's what it's all about. He's in. Neymar, bend it. 2 0. Oh, what's happened there? What's happening here? Ooh. Oh, how did that go in? What on earth happened there? I thought he was just going to finesse it to the far corner, but he's just hit that pretty much straight at Allison, and then he's just kind of poured it into his own near post. That was pretty poor. No, 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 you, you should have put a foot in there, Fernandinho, man! Ah. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, 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 that's a disaster. That is an absolute disaster, fuck off. All right, guys, I'm going to make some subs because, I mean, we need them. <laughs> this guy's team is just so much better than ours. We just literally don't stand a chance. Um, it's the midfield, really, but I don't have many midfields. I might actually play Firmino in centre mid. I feel like that could be the play. Um, and we'll hold, we'll hold like a Di Maria or a Bergwijn. I'll post these for later in the game. But I brought Firmino and Partey onto midfield because something's got to happen here. But I, we just suddenly, like... From 2-0 up, I don't know if those subs actually, just, did they just get confirmed? Um, okay, they did, yeah, it's fine. But, yeah, from 2-0 up, we suddenly just, like, the game just swung. No idea why, suddenly just couldn't even, like, get out of my own half. And I tried playing slightly more defensive and it just didn't work. And, yeah, the guy's battering us now. I don't know how, because you can't change formation. Oh, he's literally in because that stupid centre back Fernandinho just dropped so deep. Why would you do that? You've literally just ruined the game. <sighs> this is game over, guys. I can tell you this right now. I literally, I can't do anything. I, I've literally had like two shots all game. We scored them at the start. It just gave us a false hope. Like, we've been absolutely battered in this game. Utterly battered. This guy's team is just way too good. Formation's matching up better. He's got too much running through the middle of the pitch. For us to cope with is it's just not happening um i'm gonna have to uh, just accept the feet here i think really like i've, I've made pre like i made two of my three subs obviously um i've tried playing more defensive i've tried playing more attacking nothing seems to be working so i, I don't think it's going to happen here to be honest but we'll we'll have some decent rewards regardless for for making the final maybe still pack something to uh make a profit in rewards so it's not going to be a disaster but it just would have been nice to win the draft but it's 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 not happening today i, I can see it's not going to happen probably going to go 5-2 almost but yeah it's, it's just no good oh i come straight back to him he's just been rewarded for a really poor piece of play There it is, it's done. We got beat, but whatever. We didn't deserve to win, to be honest. Messi literally won in the game. As you can see, like three goals. He, he brought him off the bench. Um, who else did he bring on? A couple of decent players, I think. 
it's Messi and oh yeah, it was Robertson. He brought on Robertson at centre back as well. Um, yeah, Messi just changed the game from two hours. I just could, could not touch him. Could not touch him. Um, I mean, look at that team: like Salah, Messi, Sterling, Pogba, Bruno Fernandez, Allen. Difficult, very, very difficult when you match it up with what we had there. Like our front three was good. It was good, but you know, Jesus is not quite Messi level. Um, midfield was significantly weaker, and to be honest, that's where we lost the game. If, if I'm being realistic, um, but all in all, like this this team, I I. I was quite impressed with it, really. I, I thought it was going to go a lot worse, I've got to say. Um, obviously, Kovacic and Almiron actually played majority of the draft, and they did all right. I'd say Draxler was my favourite midfielder. I actually was very surprised by Draxler. He did really well. Um, Neymar, everything that you'd expect from Neymar. You know, great off both feet, really agile, could beat people, good crosses, everything you'd want. Salah, pretty decent as well, good runs. Um probably scored a couple of goals I think in the in the draft I can't actually remember now but um decent not as good as Neymar I wouldn't say but you know decent player uh Jesus did well Firmino didn't really get much of a of a look into me honestly when he did play he just didn't really didn't have many opportunities to be honest I couldn't give a, a good opinion on him Partey I, I don't really like Partey to be honest he's, he's actually on the bench in my in my main team he's he's all right he's I think he's a bit like clunky to be honest bit slow but he's solid so if, if that's what you're after is like a solid CDM he's, he's still do alright for you wan Saka was really good Diego Carlos was really good Fernandinho was a little bit iffy he was okay but I think in a, in a game like this against like much higher level players he got found out to be honest Bernat was just alright you know probably needs a bit more pace to be honest um, and then Allison was just as most goalkeepers are on FIFA um, fairly solid but maybe lets you down every now and then but I think pretty much all the keepers are like that but as you can see we, we got destroyed um, which was fair enough I can take that defeat pretty easily um, I can stomach that one it's not like we it's not like we got shafted you know what I mean like it, it was tough because we were 2-0 up but I think that was kind of like we, we should never have been 2-0 up really I think maybe the guy just started a bit slower because he, he took like 5-10 minutes to make his subs um, but in the end, three wins gets us a premium gold players pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. So 25k and a 15k pack. Also, we did spend, uh, well, sorry, we didn't spend 50k. We actually used a draft token to get in. So no matter what, this is going to be profit. Um, but let's see if we can make over 15k just as a as a gauge for people that would spend 15,000 coins. So we'll start with the 15k pack. Um might not even necessarily need any walkouts to make profit here. There isn't a walkout. It's not actually a board either. It could be maybe like an Inaki Williams, something like that. Rafinha, possibly worth coins. I'm not actually sure on its value, but a newly transferred Premier League right mid. Possibly, maybe like 2k if we're lucky. Might sell him, generate some coins, might keep him. Um, nothing else really there. Do get a thousand coins, which is always good. So we'll take that. Um, I'm actually I'm going to try and sell everything. I think in this in this draft, I want to see like if I can genuinely get some coins back. So I'm I'm just gonna. Is there a way of like moving it all or no? We'll have to just flick up. So I'm going to sell all that. Probably a lot of this stuff will just get quick sold or the consumables and that. But I don't need any contracts for that anymore. So I'm I'm just going to sell everything because I'm I'm trying to get as many coins as possible together to help with my team for the next weekend league um i currently still have my old team but it's not gonna it's not gonna stay like that i'm definitely gonna make some changes um we don't even hit a board again which is actually really really disappointing to be honest because you make the final and you, you just get nothing for it and it it's just not great to be honest that 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 is literally just going to be like a load of discard players pretty much but we'll, we'll we'll take the coins wherever we can get you never know might be the odd hidden gem from an sbc in there um, so yeah, not not the greatest really for the rewards on the draft, guys. For us today, um, the actual draft experience, I, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I liked the gameplay. It was nice and smooth. Um, we got quite lucky with our formation, I would say. I'd never played four three three before, but did quite well. Obviously, first two games we won really comfortably. So 
it was a all in all quite a fun experience hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did smash the like button um if you want to see more fifa 21 content on the channel hit the subs uh, subscribe button and uh turn on the little notification bell and you'll be kept up to date when all the new videos do drop but that is going to be it for me guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later